Gabriel Elizarov was born on the 15th of June in 1921 in the small town of Belovesh in Belarus. A native of the Caucasus, Elizarov grew up alone in the small village on the border between Poland and Belarus, but at his family returned to Tajikistan. The childhood of one, who was eventually to become a doctor of reference not just in Russia, but throughout the West, was characterized by very difficult living conditions. In his early years, Gabriel Elizarov already demonstrated a great propensity for learning. So that, he completed his infant school studies in one year and his senior school studies in eight. His study path was influenced by an encounter some years earlier with a local assistant physician. This assistant not only saved his life, but also led him to choose the medical course for workers in Dagestan and later the medical university in Crimea. The outbreak of the Second World War, Elizarov was forced to flee to Kazakhstan, where he completed his medical studies. In 1944, the young doctor was sent to the Russian region of Okrukanskaya, beyond the Ural mountain range, to work as a handyman at a local hospital. Elizarov's residency was carried out in orthopedic surgery, during which he developed an external fixator system in 1951. He discovered that by carefully severing a bone without severing the periosteum around it, one could separate two halves of a bone slightly and fix them in place, and the bone would grow to fill the gap. He also discovered that the bone regrows at a fairly uniform rate across people and circumstances. These experiments led to the design of what is known as an Elizarov apparatus, which holds a bone so severed in place by virtue of a framework and pins through the bone and separates halves of the bone by a tiny amount. By repeating this over time, at the rate of the bone's regrowth, it is possible to extend a bone by a desired amount. Originally, bicycle parts were used for the frame. The procedure was inspired by a shaft's bow harness on a horse carriage. For a long time, Ilizarov faced skepticism, resistance and political intrigues from the medical establishment in Moscow, which tried to defame him as a quack. The steadily increasing statistics of successful treatments of patients led to a growing fame of Ilizarov throughout the country, and he became known among patients as the magician from Korgan. In 1968, Ilizarov defended his doctoral thesis in Perm, and was awarded the title Doctor of Sciences by passing the Candidate of Sciences degree for which the thesis had originally been prepared. A breakthrough came in 1968, when Elizarov successfully operated on Valery Brumel, the 1964 Olympic champion and a long-time world record holder in the men's high jump, who injured his right leg in a motorcycle accident. Before coming to Elizarov, Brumel spent about three years for unsuccessful treatments in various clinics and underwent seven invasive and 25 non-invasive surgeries. His fame grew steadily until, in 1969, the Russian Ministry of Health did not offer him the post as the head of the new Research Institute of Traumatology in Kurgan, a subsidiary of the more famous Vreden Institute in Leningrad. In 1970, the same ministry decided to organize a conference dedicated specifically to the method of transosseous osteosynthesis to honor Dr. Ilizarov for having made Russia a world leader in the field of orthopedics. To thank him, the Russian officials allowed him to set up the Institute of Experimental and Clinical Orthopedics and Traumatology in Kurgan, so that he could continue his research in a fruitful way. The Ilizarov method of transosseous osteosynthesis is applied to lengthen or reshape limb bones. Ilizarov was the head of this center until 1991. He was also elected as a member of the USSR Academy of Sciences and of many orthopedic associations in other countries, such as France, Italy, Mexico, Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia. Gavril Abramovich Elizarov, the creator of one of the most used and pioneering techniques, died in Kurgan on the 24th of July, 
in 1992.